Here's the global climate record from thermometers around the planet since 1880, and you can see that it's been steady warming. There are ups and downs because there's natural variability, but 2014 was a record, 2015, the biggest record ever. This planet is heating up. Is that really the case? Has there actually been unusual recent warming of the planet, as alleged by the proponents of catastrophic man-made warming? According to them, our current temperatures and the rise in temperatures over the last 100 plus years are unusual and unprecedented. It's important, no, no, actually it's vital to their argument linking carbon dioxide increases to temperature that the current temperatures and our past recent temperatures are unusual and unprecedented. If indeed these current temperatures and what we've seen over the last 100 plus years are not unnatural, but rather very similar to what we've seen in the past, it would cut the very legs out from under their argument, again linking carbon dioxide and greenhouse gas increases to the planet's temperature. We saw in previous videos that our current warming trend began in the late 1600s, long before humans could have had a significant impact at all on climate. In this video, we will focus on the 10,000 year temperature history dating back to the end of the last ice age. The data come from ice cores that were retrieved from the Greenland Ice Sheet Project. This particular data set provided useful information going back nearly 50,000 years, but we will focus on the period that encompasses our current interglacial warming that started about 10,000 years ago. As with many other temperature records that we will view in other videos, the only thing constant about temperature is that it's never constant. It's going up and down and up and down, whether viewed in hundreds, thousands, or millions of years. And it has all historically been driven by the same natural forces that are active today. Using this ice core derived temperature data, I've here identified nine previous warming periods since the last ice age. An examination of these is quite revealing. Of the nine, five had rates of warming greater than the current warming period and all ended with temperatures higher than today. Additionally, eight of the ten had greater total increases in temperature than our current period. This data indicates that for more than 60 percent of the time since the beginning of our current interglacial warming period, temperatures were higher than today. This ice core data confirms the many thousands of historical records that bear witness to the fact that the Minoan, the Roman, in the medieval warm periods all had higher temperatures than we are experiencing today and puts the lie to the notion of unusual and unprecedented warming today. We will deal more fully with the extensive documentation of this fact in future videos. Unusual? Unprecedented? The answer from the historical data and confirmed by the ice cores is no and no.